everyone, welcome to DIY with Nancy. Hope you're all doing well. Today I'm going to make one of my favorites. Um, actually, it's not just my favorite. My oldest daughter loves these. Uh, they're coconut bars. Uh, very simple, uh, soft, delicious. Just, I love these. And I don't make it as often as I like, uh, but anything with coconut, I'm there. And I have quite a few recipes with coconut. Um, and this is another one. So I'm gonna show you how to make my recipe for coconut bars step by step. Let's get to baking. I'm starting off by making the base for the coconut bars. And here I have two cups of graham cracker crumbs. And I'm using my blender, but if you don't have a blender, you can use a food processor. And to the crumbs, I'm adding three quarter cups of unsalted butter, which I've melted in the microwave. And I'm adding almost all of the butter, uh, but I'm leaving a little bit aside as I pulse the crumbs with the butter uh, and it comes together nicely. I will add the balance of the melted butter. I've blended for about 30 seconds and now I'm adding the balance of the melted butter. Now our graham cracker crust is all ready. You can see it's nice and bound together with the butter. I'm just gonna show you how you know it's ready. So I basically take a piece, squeeze it, and you can see it all comes together. And that's exactly what you want. Here I have a nine and a half by 11 baking dish. And I'll be using this to form the coconut bars. And I have here aluminum foil paper, which you can see I cut it the size just slightly bigger than the tray, and that's gonna to hold together my parchment paper. So I'm pressing in the parchment paper into the foil, and as you can see, it's also overlapping the sides of the aluminum foil, and that's gonna help me remove the full sheet of the coconut bars when it comes out of the oven. Next, I'm gonna start off with the base for the coconut bars, and here is the graham cracker uh, crumbs that have come together with the butter. I'm going to remove it here and place it on the tray. Now, I used graham cracker crumbs. You can also use honey made um, cookie crumbs, which you can use for cheesecake, or you can also use Mila crackers. Up to you. Really, you can use a lot of cookies uh, for this base. Next, using a spatula, I'm spreading the graham cookie crust evenly at the bottom of the tray and I'm pressing it down firmly as I'm doing that. So I'm trying to get the edges, corners, and pressing it down very firmly so it can form the base for the coconut bars. And this is what your base of your coconut bars should look like. Next, I'll be adding one can, which is 300 milliliters, of sweetened condensed milk. Now, this will be my first layer. I'll be pouring half of the can for the first layer and using the balance of the can for the second layer. Now, to ensure that my graham crust is completely covered with the sweetened condensed milk, I'm using a spatula just to spread it out evenly right to the corners and the edges. Here I have one and a half cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Now I'll be using these chocolate chips in three parts. In this layer, I'll be placing half a cup and I'll be using the other cup of chocolate chips for the top layer. Next I have here one and a quarter cups of unsweetened flake coconut. I'll be using half of the coconut on the first layer and using the balance for the top layer. Now here I'm just repeating the process with the second layer. First I'm placing the sweetened condensed milk, then the semi-sweet chocolate chips, and last is the flake coconut. And it's ready to go in the oven. I have my oven preheated at 350 degrees, and I'm going to bake it for about 25 to 30 minutes, or until I see the top is lightly golden brown. I have it out of the oven, as you can see, it's lightly golden brown, and I'm just letting it cool for about 15 minutes. As mentioned earlier, I was going to divide the chocolate chips in three parts. 
So here's the third part. I've melted the chocolate and I'm going to be simply drizzling it with my spatula onto the top, just as I'm doing here. Give you a nice drizzle, a nice little crunch with some chocolate on top. And of course, that coconut just melts in your mouth. All there is left to do is to cut the coconut bars into small squares. That's what I usually do. You can cut them as big or as small as you like them, but I usually get about 24 coconut bars out of this recipe. My coconut bars are ready to be served and they would be such a delight to have any time of the year. That was my recipe for coconut bars. They're so soft and moist, so delicious, and they're easy to make. So I hope you all enjoyed the recipe today. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, take care everyone.